Well, uh, the other question here says, um, uh, equalistic, equalistic sequence is defined by, uh, with uh, the following properties. As we can see, uh, uh, T2 minus T1 equals seven, T3 and etc. All right, and then the questions are, uh, uh, questions 2.3.1 says, write down the value of um, uh, T5 and T negative four. Okay, so we have like T2 minus T1 equals seven. And then T3 minus T2 is 13. And T4 uh, minus T3, excuse me, <coughs> is 19. Now we want to find a T uh, five minus T4. All right, we can notice that uh, if we treat this as uh, a pattern, okay, like uh, all this, like certain, like call it all this is like term one, this is like term one, and that like term two, and that like term three, and that like term three, uh, term four, I mean, um, you'll notice that uh, there is a constant difference here of uh, of uh, six on each solution. So because to move from term one, which is equal to seven, actually term one, obviously T2 minus T1, but equal to seven, okay? And then uh, term two is T3 minus T2 is equal to 13. We can see that uh, the difference is six. Now to find also uh, the value of here, we can just find uh, add six to this uh, term. Uh, and then we will get uh, uh, T5 minus C4, which will be 25. So this is how we can get uh, um, the answers of uh, 2.3.1. Now let's move on, 2.3.2. Um, oh, it was uh, 2.2.1.8, so B. Point one b then um, we need to find uh, t70 minus t69 that's what we are asked all right don't you worry i'm gonna erase this one okay um we can do this this way if we uh, if we for instance put the dots over here we'll end up to certain certain um term which is uh t uh, 70 minus T69, okay? And it's gonna be a lot of work if we just start placing uh, six over and over and over until to reach here. So it'll be quite a lot. But we, we can treat it as a linear pattern because it is a linear pattern because it has uh, a constant difference of, uh, of six, okay? So uh, before we need to determine then what term is here then, what term is this? Because we know that this one is term one and that term two, that term three, then term four. And then what term is this, this term? All right, um, I can see that this is term 69 uh, because uh, it is 70 minus 69. Look here, check this out. That was term one because uh, this term was term one because um, uh, um, term one because here we have T1 and this is the following is term two because there is T2, T3, T4 and that must be T69. Then we can say, um, we can use the, uh, the, the, the arithmetic uh, series, I mean sequence, which is given by Tn equal to uh, A plus N minus one times D, okay? Uh, uh, the term then here, here is term 69. Term 69 will be the first term, uh, A plus um, N minus one times uh, D. So we say it's term 69 minus N, which is 69. And then uh, this will be, okay, the value of A is known. Uh, A is the first term, which is seven. So this will be seven plus, uh, uh, 68 times six. And now if we do the calculation, this is equal to um, um, 69 times six plus seven, this is equal to 415. 
So therefore, um, T69 equal to 415. Thank you.